Hello everyone, this is Will. This is Alex. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Yeah, mostly. Oh boy, we got a good one for you. Well, sort of. Um, not really. But um, anyway. First things first. Will. First things first. We get... Go to all of our social media. I can't even talk. Go to all of our social medias. Um, I'm, I am building a thread as well um for us so that will be coming soon um i'll start posting on there as well hopefully it won't be like the instagram and kind of just die um but anyway it probably I, will but i'm just build, saying i'm building but. i'm building that um so look out for that if you're interested um but if you listen to us anywhere else like you know youtube or spotify apple music um we really appreciate you and we would love to have you follow us like subscribe all that good stuff so please do really helps out the podcast and really uh lets us know that you are liking what you're hearing so really sh- um strokes our baloney it does it strokes yeah. our smooth brain which trust me we have some right now i need i need yeah I, um it'll help get the ridges back it, in my brain it really does so please please go like comment subscribe if you want to leave a review you can we don't have much of those yet so if you do want to do that be one of the first you can now do that everyone, as well. whatever you want to do whatever you want to do it's your choice but we appreciate you even if you just listen without subscribing so thank you and let's get on with the review so today we tonight, watched we watched the strangeness yeah now <laughs> wow that's a stupid um, title ignore that um look who, no one gives a shit about the title um have you ever seen a movie called the descent yeah i have in fact yes well you picture that movie but boring well the descent i actually think is a very good movie very no. well made very well put together there's movie. a reason that you know, anytime you look at a list of like best horror movies of the 2000s, it's always on there. I'm a big fan of the 2000s horror movies too. Like it's there's a, there there's a lot of good ones that are kind of overlooked. I, yeah. In my opinion, though that one's not because that one that one is did, like always uh, always in the always in the running, and for so, good reason. Yeah, um, because it's good because it's terrifying. Now it's claustrophobic. Take that movie and make it boring, and uh, just have. Um, you know, like a a Neanderthal make it. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll get the strangeness. Because that is essentially all we have. We have a cave movie with some sort of monster. We'll get to it. But that is essentially what is happening. Which isn't... It's not bad in concept, right? Caves yeah. are scary. People get claustrophobic in caves. Like, the whole concept works. Well, it's just like... That's fine. Like you I know, don't. You have your setting, an isolated setting, and you have your monster. That's, I'll be, that's fine. I'll be the first to admit I'm an adventurer, but I do not fuck with caves. I am. No, me neither. There is no way because I'm a larger man. I am not getting stuck in a fucking cave. Like fuck that. Listen, not even that, but like, I mean, cave ends are a thing. Yeah. So like, like, I don't. I don't really fuck with caves. So it's a good. It's a go- good horror element, right? Yeah. Like it. It's a. It's a setting that people are gen- generally scared of. Not yeah. everyone, but a lot of people are. Um, so anyway, uh, none of that is takes effect because the director didn't understand that apparently. Um, no, there's no... There's no like... Terror threat, uh, or... And there's one cave in. Two. Oh, two. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. You're two. already forgetting. Yeah, but like they're stupid. So why does it even matter? <laughs> Well, one of them exists to make it so they it's harder for them to leave. And then the other one exists to trap somebody, but they don't really get trapped because the monster gets them. Yeah, which I get the one where they're like, it's harder for them to leave. But usually someone gets hurt, someone gets injured and they have to like, you know, maneuver their way well, out of think, the cave with the injured person they think one of them is is hurt in the cave in but she's actually previously killed by the monster well and it, it doesn't help that this movie is absolutely brain rotted like this movie is not good at all no um spoiler alert sorry we didn't like this one at all 
Um, if you do want to go watch it, uh, <laughs> I don't know why you would. Yeah, yeah. Um, Godspeed. It is on Prime if you want to go see it before we get further into it. Um, go watch it on there, and then you can listen to re- It's review. also on YouTube. But I would implore you not to waste your time. I would say... No, you should. Um, no, you shouldn't. No, you should, because... Um, should not. Because I want you to experience the pain. Okay? <laughs> it is It is 93 minutes, which you think, oh, okay, a shorter horror movie. I can do that. Trust me, you are not prepared. Yeah, it's only ninety minutes. It's only um, yeah, it's only nine. It's I think it's ninety three officially, but like, it, it, it's it's a hard watch. It's 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 rough. Um, so yeah, go watch it if you want, or if you're Alex, go watch it now. I mean, um, here's the thing. I think you should go watch it. I don't think that's a guarantee that you will finish this movie. <laughs> I'm just saying. We were talking um, before we started recording that like it's a movie like we would literally turn off like a few minutes into it. Yeah, if you if you just came across this one day, I mean, I think the opening alone, you know it's shit. You know it's going to be shit. There's no There's no like, there's no trickery on yeah, display. It's not like it's it's not like it's oh, just, the script's bad, but just, you know they trick you. No, no, no. The brain it's rot, shit. the brain rot is fully on display in the first like few minutes. The, so the fucking bright shining day for night is yep. right there and it's you know you're in for a shit show so it's like two hikers and they're going up a, a mountain i guess i have no idea one of them plays dead and pranks the other one yeah she screams and he thinks something happened to her he runs up to her she's not nah, she's just it's a prank bro sorry we're getting into the movie because we've already explained yeah. it. like from the first shot and this is an example yes. of how brain dead this fucking movie is this whole thing is day for night so she yeah she pranks him they kiss i think and... they're working because he keeps saying that they have to like you're wasting time blah 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 and they go into this mining this mine. I do not understand what the fuck is happening in this goddamn scene. There is the guy goes in and sees like a cross or something that's been driven starts, into like a pack of rocks. When he like starts like pulling on it for some reason, he and the other woman is like just she's wandering around. She's somewhere behind him, but like her flashlight dies or something, and he pulls it out. And the cave shakes, and he like falls. And remember, she awkwardly falls over. Yeah, they both they both kind of fall down into this and then cave. A POV shot comes up to him, and he screams, and it's the monster getting him. And then she is like yelling his name, and then she also screams, and we get credits. That's, I mean, that's literally the opening i hope you like off nothing screen. i hope you like off-screen deaths there is one one on-screen kill by the monster in our monster movie it and one I, i'm not exaggerating when i say it is probably the most interesting shot in the entire movie bro that's that might be a lie um this feels like those fucking like stupid like 50s rubber monster movies that you'd watch when you were a kid and you'd like watch it on like amc or some shit because there's nothing to watch and you watch it and it's like all the fucking deaths are off screen and everything's boring well it's like this is like that except for some fucking reason you we made this in 1985 well i don't even know why it's like 13 plus i i I, uh, an infant could watch this. there's blood and, and some gore some but that's it very little there's not like there's really not any like swearing there's no profanity there's i mean there's nothing really on display here there's no nudity it's uh it's just basic as basic could be and so anyway after these two meet their demise off screen um we get a pack of people that are going into a mine uh, for some reason did they explain why they're going in there probably (laughs) (laughs) 
So we get like a foreman, and he's basically sending these like experts into this mine. So there's like a geologist, there's um, some tracker guy, there's like um, up someone writing a book. Yeah, like a nerdy guy, but he. he oh he, wait, How, what makes you say he's dirty? Because he's wearing glasses, and his name is Flanders. How does he talk? Like a dork. <laughs> This movie does that thing. It, it's it's stereotypical nerd. This is like, like it's like something stereotypical out of, 80s nerd. It's like something out of like Animal House. You have your fucking nerd character who he talks he talks like this, and it's just like he has the big old we don't fucking big old glasses and everything. Like we don't we need it. it. We get it. Who cares? I don't need it. <clears throat> they're all around a campfire and they're talking about this mine and they're making a plan of like where to go in and how to do whatever they're gonna do. There's a guy who <clears throat> I guess I think he Sorry, works for a company me. that I think they own the mine or something and they wanna like check something. He every scene They're looking for like I think it's like minerals or something. Yeah. But, I mean, we... Uh, should I just spoil the fucking... What the foreman's Please. actually doing? He's looking for gold. That's his whole... Because pl- you've never seen this in a movie before. Okay, but that's <clears throat> not even like... I don't even know if that was his original plan. I, it wasn't his original plan, but once they, fi- they find it like a gold ingot... We get a scene... <clears throat> Like, and literally he, five minutes before the end of the movie where he just... And he steals it and then goes off the deep end about a little tiny fucking gold nugget. He goes cuckoo. He goes fucking bananas over <laughs> his fucking gold. But the other... Which makes it even stupider if you really think about yes. it. It's this little tiny piece of gold and he's going fucking insane over it. Because well, he thinks there's going to be more. <clears throat> but the only other notable thing about him is that he has a... Like a, a hard hat that has like Japanese text on it. it. I think it's Japanese. I could be wrong, but and he's always grumpy. And then there's also a guy with him. I do not, for the love of God, remember why he's with him. But he's like a British a sailor, Mor- Morgan. You yeah. better put that British in heavy quotations. Listen, he tried. He tried. Um, he loses his accent almost every other scene. That's fine. And then sometimes he goes into this weird. It'll be like British, and then he goes like, it's like it's like all the British accents, right? So mm-hmm. he'll go through the gamut, like the like Cockney, like Scottish, Yorkshire, like fucking Scottish, like just European accent. It's. The full, every region. He's, the whole gamut. He just, he has all the accents mixed into one. Look, he's a man of many talents, He okay? really is. And I don't remember why he's with him, but for some reason he's an expert on, like, mines, I guess. Whatever. Wasn't he, like, familiar with this mine some in some way? I think so. And that's why they brought him in? Because he knew the history of the mine. He's like a historian or something. Yeah. I have no fucking idea. But I'm, I'm very just upset. guessing. I'm very upset, Will. You know why I'm upset? Hmm. He was only in one movie. This movie? This. Shocker. How fucking... Is he actually British? There's no information because he was that, only in one that, fucking movie. <laughs> that would literally... like I think my mind would melt if he was actually British. Because holy shit. There is no information. Because, I mean, look, I don't know. Who would have that information? I don't even know. No one would even um, have that at this point because so, who the fuck cares? So they all talk about it and then they're hiking up to the cave and they go in. They like let down a rope. I like. I like how they have to pat up. ahead. Um, I do. I like how they uh, they pretend that it's like a steep hill. Remember? Oh, yeah. It's like. They're all like on their like all fours, which is hilarious because they show a wide shot and it's this tiny little hill. Mm-hmm. It's like easily anyone could get up past it, but they show it like it's like that, like a, this hard hill. Yeah, they all get up there and you know they go in. They he, okay, let's just get this out of the way now. Half of the movie, it's a real mine. You can tell 
It's filmed in a real mine. And then the other half is a fake paper mache trash mine that somebody built in someone's garage. And it's always very, uh, the, the differences between the two are very stark. Because you got the real rocks and people are putting their hands all over them. There's like dust coming off of them. And then it goes to the fake mine and it looks like trash bags behind them. And they make, they're very careful to not touch, <laughs> touch any of the walls or anything. They, when they're in the mine, they Sorry. get to like a... I'm just reading the, um, the fucking <laughs> trivia for this. As little, if there's anything interesting. Holy shit, dude. Like... It actually makes it more hilarious. What? So speaking of that shot where they go into what seems like a real mine, right? Mm -hmm. um, so according to the director, this is off IMDb, so it could be this. This could be factual or could be not factual, but mm -hmm. it, it's hilarious if it is. According to director uh, Melanie Ann Phillips, the opening scene was shot without permission at a real mine called the Red Rover. About a month after shooting their scenes, some real-life miners uh, hired uh, were hired to see if the mine was worth reopening, and they entered and went further in than the film crew had, then died from poisonous gas exposure. Was the poisonous gas... Um, <laughs> do you think that maybe... Well, do you think that maybe the poisonous gas like zonked the brains of the people who made this also more hilarious is this was filmed in the director's grandparents garage i fucking told you that's where they literally built the fucking cave i told you <laughs> that's where they built the paper mache cave in a fucking garage i told you it was a garage of course it was <laughs> wow how fucking childish dude so we get a shot of them. So we're at the where they go into the cave, right? Well, they're in the cave and they start going down the one, shaft or whatever. One by one, very slowly. Yes. Going into the cave because they have to pad out run time for some reason. Because it's only an nothing. hour and 32 minutes. They, they pad out run time. Because there's nothing here. Because they have, they have nothing. It's nothing. So. It's like a fucking. It's like a fucking meal that they just put leaves on it because they have nothing for you. Dude, this movie is so fucking So, yeah, they boring. all, one by one, go down this rope, and then it gets to the last guy who's the fucking dork. And, and something cuts it, the rope. No, the, bro, you're making this sound way more exciting. Because, he remember, he's climbing down. He just down, hangs there for a minute. And the one... He gets, like, scared? The foreman or whoever is like, hurry this up. He just, like... He literally just hangs there. He just there. hangs there. But th there's not there's not a look of fear on his face or anything. I'm not joking. He's hanging there like like he's filling out taxes, okay? And then... Yeah, the face you make when you're doing mundane tasks yeah, is the face he has Like he's washing he's dishes. Road. And he just hangs there for like 10 seconds. And we're just like, what the fuck is happening? Like, show something. And then he falls... And so, and they Two feet. they inspect the rope, and one of the guys is like, "It's cut," because it's like perfectly cut, and the foreman's like, "Oh yeah, rock probably through chewed through this." <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's a line. All right, are you trying to sound Cope. like interesting? A rock chewed through it. Yeah. So they go into the cave because I guess they can't be bothered that their only way out and in in this cave is gone, but. They go into the cave, and this just starts literally like 45 minutes of nothing, of absolute nothing. garbage, bullshit, nothing. They find the backpack of the people who got nommed at the beginning of the movie, and they find like a, a lawn chair that's bent. And they're like, it was the fr it was supposed to be the frame of the yeah. backpack, but like it's bent. But it's bent, and they're like, oh well, you'd have to be pretty strong to bend that? Yeah. that. And 
there's like a whole fucking thing because one of the one of the women there is she's married to the dork, and, and this other guy has like the one of the dudes the, has the hots for her, and tries to hit on her. It's stupid. It bullshit. goes nowhere. There's the fucking nerd interviews the British guy, that and it scene is so fucking dumb. Annihilated me. Like I swear to God, they just they <laughs> they just let the guy improvise. That scene and he just. It's the most, like, gobbledygook fucking gibberish bolt, like, most, like, just stupid dialogue. Like, I, that didn't even make sense, but that's, like, the, how he talks, basically. No, and it's, like, he's, like, telling him, like, all these stupid stories. It's such bullshit. And the other guy keeps, like, he keeps exaggerating everything he says to, like, put it in his book report or whatever. And it's, like, I guess it's supposed to be funny, yeah, he'll say like a hundred feet, and the guy will put a thousand feet. Yeah, and it's just and, like it's and it's just it's so it's, stupid. It's it's anti funny. If they're trying to be funny, it, I was not amused. <laughs> no, no, the real anti fun was um after the fucking guy tries to hit on the girl, he like walks away because she just cuts him off, and she's like, "Hey, smile." She takes the picture, and he's like, "Ha, cheese." And then it cuts to black. I was just like, so this is like the opposite of like emotion. This this whole movie. This whole movie is very, very awkward. Is the opposite of feeling anything. Like you you watch this and I felt nothing. I felt all my emotions. Yeah, it's not even like the opposite of joy because that'd be like misery. I yeah. wasn't in misery. I was just I was just like like you said, nothing. Every... I, I did not feel a single yeah. thing for this movie. And at this point, we were begging for something to happen. And this, uh, mind you, this, them wandering around the cave and all this weird, awkward dialogue that goes n absolutely fucking nowhere and doesn't even matter to the, in, yeah. it, and isn't even integral to the plot. It's not like they were, they're doing exposition or anything. This goes on for 45 minutes into an hour and a half movie. Yep. And then finally, finally at 45 minutes. We get an off-screen death. We get an off-screen. And that, that's what this is all building up to, an off-screen death. It, we see two seconds of our monster. It's a stop-motion squid vagina. Literally. It. Literally, it's, you cannot tell me its head does not look like a vagina. It also looks exactly like a vagina. Again, it, in it the, spills goop. In the trivia, they called it Binky for some reason. Don't even. And Don't no, I'm this. gonna give more trivia. And please, just because it's funny, the creative designer for the monster. Said that the look of a vagina, the resemblance to a vagina, was completely unintentional. Now that is a bald faced lie. I buy that. This is an alien, Will. <laughs> no, but they weren't going for like the hypersexual like alien. Sci -fi. They made everything look sexual because they wanted to fuck with you. Yeah, I don't buy for one second that the people who made this pile of monkey fuck have even an inkling of that much creativity i don't buy that at all i don't buy it i think they are that unaware you think they that was totally unintentional well do you really think that the film we just sat through do you think anybody involved with that movie had <laughs> i guess you're right a single bone in their body capable of that much bamboozle <laughs> no None. Okay, you're right. You're right. What do, as they say, no cap for real. Okay, <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> On God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I I want to get by that. If we're going on that lingo, this movie does not have the riz. <laughs> this movie is anti riz. <laughs> this is there is no riz in this movie. It's whatever's the opposite of riz. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no this. Yeah. So, so but the 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 so one of the girls gets separated from the group and there's a cave in, right? After she gets nommed. Okay, yeah. So she goes missing and they're trying to look around for her. Cuz they hear her scream. Yeah, they hear her scream, she dies off screen. And then it, and then it caves in. Something like the 
Is this where the fucking, like, wind starts? Or is that more towards the end? Later. Okay. So, yeah. So, there's a cave-in. She, scre- like, she screams. She dies. There's a cave-in. And One start- of the guys is, um, he's, like, picking up rocks. Because he's like, I want to save her. And then the foreman, the foreman or whatever is, is like, like she's dead. She's dead. Let's keep going. And then they they look at their map. They're like, well, we can go deeper into the cave. And the guy's like, that's suicide. Because reasons. Um whatever and then he's like yeah i agree we can also go back and like try to throw a rope up to where the rope got cut last time and it's like why why wouldn't you just recommend that in the first place whatever so they start going and this is where they find the weird wind chime tunnel yeah so they go into a tunnel this is legitimately one of the only remotely interesting fucking things in this pile of shit movie. and it goes nowhere oh well also before this they came across a um it almost looks like a rib cage well it's like an animal carcass yeah. um essentially but, so they're thinking that an animal got trapped yeah. down there um but yeah they they find this like tunnel and you hear like like these like the it's like glass clinking noise. Yeah, and so they look around and they shine their flashlights up and it's glass hanging off the walls. It's just all over this tunnel and they're like, what's this? And someone's like, and one of them oh, it's decides like a, it's that it's... a warning system. So that basically whoever was here, the can, miners long ago... Something can hear the whatever coming. They can hear whatever's coming towards them. And that's the only interesting shot in the entire movie because for some reason the fucking the British guy is talking and explaining all this and in the reflection of one of the glass pieces you, see him you can talking. see him talking. Yeah, while he's talking to somebody. Else. I think that was accidental. I think they probably were filming normal and then one of them saw like, hey, look. That looks kind of cool. Do it here. Um... There's also another part where, again, it's just like, I still don't get what the fuck they're going for with this shit, because there's a weird scene where they're just standing around a room, like, staring at something, and the wind just starts going fucking bananas, remember? Yeah, and they all have, fl- so I, I hate, so usually I don't mind live audio, it's fine. Yeah. Like, usually I appreciate that they're using, like, live audio. but That it sounds real, yeah. <clears throat> but they used live audio because it was a garage. I mean, obviously they could. Um, <laughs> but the problem is they're using these loud-ass flares. Mm-hmm. They're these huge road flares, and they make the most annoying, obnoxious sound in a movie. Oh, but it's not just that. And <sighs> You also add on the wind. Because they're all in this big cavern and it starts getting like really windy yeah everyone's squinting the lights start flickering and it just stops remember now pray tell alex does this ever get explained no ever no there is literally no reason this happens and they don't explain shit yeah you think like what does the fucking monster control wind no nope no the monster doesn't do anything. It crawls around with its vagina face and just sucks people into it. That's it. Uh, and I don't really fucking care to understand why they did this. I think it's stupid as hell. There's a fucking... I don't even... I think the nerdy guy bites it next because, again, he gets, like, separated. Oh, no, he goes around and he's, like, trying to set a bomb or something. Again, this is this just happened. They don't tell so, you. So yeah, he's like he's putting something into the wall, and he's and trailing stringing like a string. Yeah, and he goes into like a fucking weird hole. And again, I don't know if he's like separated from the group, if they're following him, if what. I, I have no fucking idea. They don't tell you anything. They don't tell you anything. They just start scenes, and they're like, "Here, you. yeah." But he gets you know. Here's the noise. You see the stop motion, and then that's it. And then off screen again. Yeah, it's off screen. Eventually, you know, one of the guys like he goes to look for him, and he walks into this cavern, and you see like all this like gore on the ground, and then he looks, and then something like hits his hard hat, and he looks up. Well, there's like maggots on the ground, and he looks up, and it's the guy, and it's he's a, like, a nerdy guy, like gooped to the ceiling, hanging on the ceiling, like like. 
stretching his arms out to him, and the scene just ends. And then he, yeah. And then he makes, and then eventually he makes. He, his way he back does and, go back to the crew, and he kind of explains what they saw, and then he's like, "We need to get out of here right now." And so they're going to retrace their steps back to the entrance. Oh, don't forget, we also had a scene where the British man is in a like a a fucking cavern, and there's like a flare or something in there and he's trying to like reach for it and he grabs like a wire and he like grabs a wire it. and starts reaching with the wire i don't know and then the monster eats him off screen well no remember like he, so oh, no, oh, yeah. so we get a window like cave window yes. and we see him flying <laughs> into this window and then he's like getting sucked in by the monster and like you see him like like slowly go away from the window and then you just see his legs like just one like like in a in a very casual position so like one is bent and it looks like he's lounging and then he gets dragged and then he gets dragged away that's how we see him die then there's another another cave in and one of the other guys now at this point also, I think this is when Sorry, this movie made me very tired. In case you didn't notice, um, yeah. So is this also where we get Foreman goes fucking in no. bat shit yet? Okay, no. no. No, this is uh there's another cave in. One of the other members is um they bunch of rocks fall on them and they're like in pain. And then we we see the guy like trying to like take rocks off of him. And then, when they're trying to pull him through, <laughs> he's foot. not even trying to pull him through. He's just taking rocks off because he's covered in rocks. It's a, it's a cave in. Well, rocks are heavy. Okay, keep that in mind. And then we see the fucking stop motion monster grab his leg and like pull him through. And off screen, you don't see this with your eyes, but he gets pulled through. Yeah. And then the guy is just like, he literally lays down on the ground. And starts to weep. <laughs> now I well, ask... And, he, and the, the monster isn't, like, attacking him. Nothing is happening. He's totally fine. And he just starts weeping on the ground. Now, my question, Will, is how the fuck did the monster drag him? <laughs> Through out? all those rocks? Yeah. I don't know. And like, you asked a good question, too. Why couldn't they have just pulled him through the other side? Like, because by that logic, he could have just pulled him through. Or he could have just crawled through the other side. But apparently, and again, it's hard to say. Because one end was not, not filled with rocks. All of this shit is not actually shown. It's just, you see, like, a POV shot of, like, hands stuck under rocks. And, like, his front torso... And then the tentacle grabs him, and then the next shot, there's no hands. He's gone. Yeah. Like. But he's in a totally, like, clear cave on the other side. Figure it out, dipshit. And he's totally fine. Figure it out, dipshit. Like, He didn't get crushed by rocks. He's just openly weeping on the ground. And then he, you know, he stops weeping. Which, you know, honestly, same. By this point, I, I felt him. I was like, you know what? I, I feel for this man. Yeah. No, and then he gets up and starts... At, the, at this point, the foreman is, like, walking around with the woman, and then they get to, like, a fucking... <laughs> this comes out of fucking nowhere, this dude. This is so like, this uncalled is, for. This, he just, like, backhands her, and he's like, you're never gonna take my gold. Yeah, I no. know that's what you're here for. They get into, like, this big room. And, you know, she just collapses in tears, and he just, like, stands there, and then he backhands her, and we're like, <laughs> okay. And that's when he has, like, it's mine. It's mine. My gold little tiny ingot. You bitch. You'll never take it. And then she runs away, and he's like, I need you. Where are you going, bitch? And he starts, like, following her, like, okay. He didn't say bitch, but I wish he would have. That would have made it even better. The other guy, he finds... The dude who got dragged under the dude. the world's lightest cave-in, he finds him in a puddle of goop and then looks at him and he, like, spews like goop foam. out of his mouth. And that's it. So he keeps on wondering. He finds the woman. <laughs> well, no, no. Um, because the guy, like, corners her, the foreman, and then she, like, takes a... Oh, like a, a two-by-four. 
and, and s- smacks him on the head with it, and so he's knocked out. And then the guy finds her. They she runs away. He they find each other. <laughs> Is this where we get the? Ah! I think <laughs> where the foreman, like for some reason, <laughs> screams like a fucking haunted house scream, and then and then like knocks tries... out the guy. Well, he hits him with a pickaxe, and then. He starts like coming at the woman who, for some reason, lost her shirt, and like her overshirt. She still yeah. has like a camisole on, but, and like... and so oh he's like coming after her, and our vagina monster sucks him up into his head, and we get a stop motion of a v- vagina monster eating a puppet, man. eating a little action figure. While you know the guy at this point has, he's he's out of it. And so, you know, him and the girl, like, are sort of walking away, and you just see this thing, like, swinging around an action figure. And, and they get into, like, this they big get into, cavern. Like, a big cavern, and they find, like, a puddle of water. And there's a bunch of skeletons on the walls. Well, not just, like, not just human skeletons. It's, like, little rat bones and, like, Everything. little tiny, like, bones everywhere. Yeah, and whatever so they had. They find the puddle of water, and they're like, wait a minute, we still... Because they found some, like, highly explosive stuff i they explained what it was but i have no idea what the fuck it is Some, he it's says like a something gel, it's like a blasting gel or something it's like so it's it's like gunpowder and like a big explosive gel so they they find like a lunchbox that has blasting caps in it for no reason yes. and they're like oh we got it's got blow, all the stuff they need we gotta blow this fucker yeah. up <clears throat> we also forgot about the scene where the woman is looking for the guy with just the flare and it's only the audio of the flare and it like goes on for like almost a minute long that was and great it like it sound it it sounds like you're going insane because that <laughs> sound is just like in your head the entire time yep because they used live audio from the flare so that's all you hear for almost a minute straight it's it's oh it's it's music to my ears <laughs> You almost said painful, which I really feel. I wanted to. Um, <clears throat> so they are going to blast this thing away. So he creates a lead. He puts the he just stuffs the blasting caps into the fucking thing, the plastic bag, and then does a trail of gunpowder, and then lights it. Well, he like gently sets the flare yeah. down. It's not like he throws it and they no, it, they jump in the water. Yeah, he gently sets it down, and then they just gently get in the water. And they're underwater, and then eventually, you know, it blows up. You see a little baby miniature cave with, like, fire going through it. And then, f- for some reason, I, they're I in the still ocean. Do, I still do not understand this. I, they literally transition from dirty, muddy cave water to ocean. I don't understand it, because apparently it's supposed to imply that they found a a lead to the like outside yeah but where fuck you you get nothing That's... in normal movies they would show oh this this leads out out to like the ocean they would let's, yeah let, let's take it here they would they would show you that you yeah. know because exp- exposition not always welcome but it's needed in Sometimes some movies. It helps. Yeah, it help. It really helps to make your movie less confusing. It helps to make your movie feel like a movie, Will. Yeah. But in this case, no. They just there, and you know the creatures like on fire, and they, then the cave is exploding. And they see this fake ass explosion come out. We of We see the a fucking... little child's toy science experiment volcano that they plastered onto the ocean. And it's exploding while they're watching it. And then credits. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, we get a bamboozle of sort of. You, you I, get the I don't fuck even know, out of here. I don't even know it's a bamboozle. I, no, we get a I have POV, no idea what it is. We get a POV shot going down a tunnel and there's like a light. And it's making a weird sound. And then something moves and that's it. Credits. Dude. I'm I'm sorry if there's any fans of this movie, but fuck this movie, it is so boring. It's 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 not like awful by any standards, but like it's just boring. It's so fucking stupid and boring. 
there's there's nothing there's here. nothing to latch onto. You don't care about any of the characters. The camera work is boring as hell. It's just it's just milk toast. Yeah, it's just people. The effects. I will admit the two things I did can appreciate, and this is a stretch. Yeah. The gore effects were pretty good because they didn't show them that often. In and, hindsight, I wish they did more. Well, so do I, but like still. Take what you can get. You take what you can get. And some of the stop motion stuff was smooth and well done. That's it. The stop motion, I will say, it's more than I expected. I They didn't have to go that hard for it, but like. And I they, was expecting a fucking dumb rubber suit. Well, like, or a puppet or something. But. At least they did stop motion. It looks decent. I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't help the movie. It's it's a stupid creature design. And that scene where it attacks the guy, although well done, looks very fake. Because it's it's hilarious. But here's the thing, though. I wanted that but for the whole movie. Well, if it would have, like... That le- scene. If it would have leaned into that... That scene... With the action figure, is the only on-screen death. Yeah, and I, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we fucking hate off-screen deaths. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Like, if you're not going to have on-screen deaths, you better fucking make up for it with some, like, gory aftermath. Well, like, sure, be... Do off screen so you can show like horrific shit afterwards, right? Yeah, I'm okay with that as long as it the build up is worth it. As long as you know you get a lot of good shit afterwards. But you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't worth it. No, this movie ain't worth it. It's not worth like an hour and thirty two minutes. It feels like a fucking eternity. At some point, yeah, you watch this and you just give up because you know that they're not capable of making anything exciting happen. No, and they don't. That's the problem. They don't try. They at no point do they even attempt to like film anything interesting. Nope. The the glass like things were the only interesting thing. It goes nowhere. And it goes nowhere. They just leave the room and never talk about it ever again. The wind? Never Pointless. again. We don't we don't get an explanation of why light, lights were going crazy. We don't ex- Yeah, seriously, what the fuck? We don't get an explanation of why their light their flashlights suddenly stop working. Nothing. Low battery. I don't and I'm okay if they don't explain the creature. That's fine. But explain something. Well, just something to like make the movie interesting. Like we get it. It's a creature, it's an unknown creature that they unleashed by like blasting into the mines. Okay. So make it interesting. Mm-hmm. Give mm-hmm. me something of substance to like latch onto. A likable character would be nice, or like fucking anything, Any, anything <laughs> resembling. The, that's the problem. There's nothing here. Anything resembling a character, like there's there's literally none of the characters are likable. I don't like a single one of yeah. them. Yeah, and it's not even like I get that it's low budget, but give me a fucking break. We've seen movies that are low budget that have likable characters. That are fun. That, that are have exciting. That, that have characters that we want to see what happens to them. Yeah. And like that's the thing, like this movie elicits no emotion. That's the problem. I was I like I was just like leaking brain matter while yeah. I like, watching this movie. Because like there's movies you watch where, you know, there's there's characters that you like and then there's characters that you hate. But even that, like it takes effort to make you feel something. Now, this movie is doing something interesting to me where please I have to retract anything bad I said about Attack of the uh, Beast Creatures. Well, in a way, I knew eventually in 85 I would come across a movie that would force you to retract everything negative you said about that. Yeah. Because you did not know. And who knew it would be this soon? It wasn't too long ago we were reviewing that movie. You didn't know how good you had it. I really didn't. And uh, that movie looks like a fucking masterpiece compared it's, to this. Oh, it's beautiful compared <laughs> to this <laughs> fucking film. Because at least that leaned into the ridiculous shit. Because it knew. It knew it was stupid and it didn't care. You had, like, constant shit happening. 
the deaths were on screen. Yes. Like... They were throwing those dolls all over the fucking place. They were fucking, like, gluing them to the fucking actors. They were like... They Everything. Didn't, they didn't give a shit. They were like, okay, yeah. let's throw all these fucking dolls at these actors. You know what they did in, the, in this fucking movie? Nothing. Not a goddamn fucking they thing. They fucking filmed in a garage... And had some guy fucking stop motion an ugly vagina monster. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. It's stupid. It's, it's so, so embarrassing. It's so fucking stupid and childish. I don't... Even the Oracle had that Spirit Halloween decoration at the end. Yes. And, and, and like, fucking tilty rooms and, and the that fucking... That had at least some shit going a on. weird assassin lady. It's fun. There's no fun. There's no joy to be had here. I, I'm sorry. I like. I cannot find anything likable about this movie. It's just boring. It's just. There's nothing. It's such a mid fucking stupid movie. This is 100% one of those movies that. Yeah, if you tried watching this on a normal basis, no fucking way. There's no way any normal person that doesn't do like a podcast where they're forced to watch these movies yeah. would, would watch this. If will, you're not willingly. by principle supposed to sit through the whole fucking thing, there's no reason to sit through this shit. No. Because you would... That, I mean, that opening alone. Sometimes a movie shows you its entire deck right away. Well, and who knew that would set the fucking tone for the rest of the entire movie? That's, I mean, that's what an opening is supposed to do. But I mean tone as far as boring camera work, terrible acting, fucking boring monster shit, boring, like, nothing happening bullshit, uh, dialogue that goes fucking nowhere. Are you noticing a trend? It's all there in the first It's like, all five there minutes. in the first five minutes, and it's all you need to see. Just turn it off after that. Yep imagine i wish we would have it, oh, Jesus. uh shitty to pretty this is not gonna this is not gonna go well for this movie because we go off entertainment right yes and there's nothing entertaining about this movie at all yes like i wanted to give it points for the effects but i just i don't know if i can because it's not worth it it didn't earn it i mean you could give it a point I'm not right. going to give it a zero. Well, well, there is no zero. It has to be a one. At one I think I'm going to give it a two. Yeah. Just because, and this is solely the fact, like, this movie sucks. It's fucking stupid. <clears throat> but the gore effects at least were there. And there was some stop motion attempted. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd give it a two for that. And because, and this is really, <clears throat> I mean, this is fucking, this comes close. But it didn't, like, this movie didn't make me as angry as some things I've watched. No, that's fair. Because it didn't make me angry. It just made me feel like nothing. Like, I definitely, there's moments when I say, I, I'm going to say, I, I was getting close to fucking having a full-blown rage meltdown. And how fucking nothing was happening, how boring it was. But it still didn't quite snap it didn't reach that level yeah where you just watch and you're just getting angry because it's that stupid it didn't earn that coveted one or yeah or the uh famous like quadrilogy of the worst movies on the planet <laughs> is it is it four now yeah. or is it five it's four yeah four worst movies on the fucking planet only one of them's got a fucking uh, doll fucking. <laughs> yep, a fucking bacon tongue doll fucking a lady and her getting addicted to it. This isn't that. It isn't that. It isn't a fucking climber that his wife dies and he decides to fucking kill everyone for some reason. Or a weird guy who finds a device that shows us fucking Nazi footage. And then... Well, it's, it's the aftermath of... um. The Nazis taking the world. Yeah. Again. Um, and then fucking it, weird historical fiction that goes fucking nowhere. Well, it's him watching, like, how the world ended. And it's footage of the Great War. And it's definitely not a bunch oh of God. friends going to a fucking... 
a fucking ranch and getting murdered one by one by their friend because he thinks they're going to steal his gold. This has some similarities to that. It does. I am <laughs> it, ashamed it, to say. It does. It really does. But it doesn't have that weird, stupid fucking drug scene. Unfortunately. But if you know, I mean, if you know, if you know, you they know. mostly come out of they mostly come out at night lore you'll know these fucking movies lore? we have lore now okay we oh have over 200 God. episodes we have lore those you know, are the fucking four horsemen of the apocalypse yeah those are the four movies that shall not be named yeah this this is just a boring snooze fest yeah this is just boring snooze fest so it does not earn that title uh very little there's i don't think we'll it, it it's rare when we run into that movie that's rare. And we've been I don't doing wanna... this for like what five years now, and we've run into four movies that have come up through fifteen years. Yeah, yeah, through fifteen years of movies, four have gotten to that list. So it's going to be hard finding that five. Unless, but yeah. I, I, it might be out there. Which is why I welcome, you know, recommendations. Because if one of you, I mean, listen, some <clears throat> of the, some of the recommendations we've watched have been fucking deeply special. Will there be a fifth champion? I don't know. I don't know. There might be. Um, but anyway, that now we're getting off on tangents because this movie's so fucking boring that we don't want to talk about it anymore. There's nothing to say. <laughs> so that was the strangeness. Yeah. Um, I have nothing more to say about it, really. I am also... I'm not going to waste more of my breath on it. I am also finished with this thing. Uh, so for They Mostly Come Out at Night, this has been Will. This has been Alex. And we will talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus.